Hi friends, in this video I'm going to show you a small haul of some appliances that I bought last weekend at a Goodwill to part out on eBay. So let's go ahead and launch this reseller, Robo. <laughs> Welcome back my friends. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Beth Ann and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Amazon. And if you haven't subscribed, please just hit the little rowboat in the bottom right hand corner of your screen at any time and don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I go live or upload a video. As always, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up on this video. In this video, I'm only going to be talking about eBay. I have two stores, and my second eBay store is where I sell appliance parts, usually small appliances that you use in the kitchen. I have a special Goodwill honey hole that I go to in um, the hill country of Texas. I'm not going to name the town, but I usually do really well there. And just to give you a backstory, last year, the first time I went there, I purchased about 11 or 12 machines for like $72, something like that. Had to, took up two carts. And when I went back the next time, I got about 10 machines. And then the third time I went back, they had raised their prices tremendously. I guess they caught on that I was buying so many machines. And so I didn't go back for like six months because their prices were like double. But I gave it, like I said, about six months and they started lowering their prices again. So I try not to be as greedy as I was the first two times. I'm a little bit pickier now, but let me show you some of the things I got for $33. I got three machines and I think I did quite well. Actually, I thought I was gonna pay more, but I think some of the items were on sale. I wasn't sure what the color of the month was. You know how Goodwill has colors of the month? Okay, I've had this tip um, several times in my appliance videos. And if you haven't seen my appliance videos, I'll just link my um, how-to video playlist up in the right-hand corner right now. And if you go there, there are many, many videos about sourcing and selling appliance parts. And one of the tips I've told you guys is after you go down the aisle and look, go look at other things in the store and then come back for a second glance because you will find things that you didn't see before or you might change your mind. And this is a very good example. This is a food processor and it's by Cuisinart. Just the base alone weighs over 13 pounds. I'm not sure that I'm gonna list the base. I'm still thinking about it. But the first time I went down the aisle, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this down, guys, because it's so heavy. Um, the first time I went down the aisle, I passed it up because it was $20. And you, you know me, guys, I don't spend much money. <laughs> um, my rule is typically $10 or less for three parts, right? And I was like, 20 bucks, no way. I'm not gonna pay 20 bucks for this. But then when I went back, I realized that some of the parts that go to this machine were actually behind it. So I think I actually got about five or six parts off of it. So let me show you what I got. So as any food processor, you know, there's gonna be a bowl. Well, actually with this one, I didn't realize it has two bowls. So, there we go, it has an outer bowl and an inner bowl, which I've never really seen before in a food processor. Um, maybe some of you have. So that's two parts. And then I have the lid with the chute and then the food pusher assembly, which is actually one and then two. So we got one, two, three, four, five right there. And then just a little bit to the right of the machine, there were two shredding and slicing blades and there was tape around the base and you could tell that someone had taken the tape off and so I'm suspecting that this bag was taped to the machine and somebody just took it off. So the first thing I did when I went back the second time and realized that you know I might be buying this machine, I opened the bag, I took out this one and put it in to make sure it fit and it did and you know it's got this spindle right here that's already attached, but the second blade um, doesn't have that spindle, right? And so it won't go on there. I mean, it has the same at the bottom right there, but it needs to have a spindle to go on this machine. And it, 
the machine's missing it. But that's okay because that's why I sell parts, right? Another reason why I grab this is because it has, even if these two don't go with this machine, um, Cuisinart is very kind and they put their model, their numbers on, on the actual blade. I don't know if you can see that. So what I'm saying is if, if you find uh, blades like this and you find no machine, just if there's a part number on it, you can sell it. Okay. So that's six parts right there for $20. But what I'm thinking is m this machine must have been on sale because I thought I was going to be spending like 40 something dollars and I ended up spending 33. So that was great. Um, when I did get up to the front, the lady was a little bit leery because these were not together exactly. But I told her, you know, that the tape was off and this was next to it. And I, you know, this was taped evidently to the machine in the beginning. And she, she went for it. You know, I wasn't really lying. I mean, I guess I wasn't really telling the truth, but I know these fit, you know, I, and I told her, I said, I took the tape off the machine and I tried one of these to make sure that it went with the machine and it did. So don't be nervous when you're out of the thrift shop and everything's taped together. Don't be nervous about untaping things. Just try to tape them back as best you can if you're not going to buy it. Sometimes if it's really bad, I'll go up to the cashier and say, I'm going to take this tape off. Okay. <laughs> I don't say, may I take the tape off? I just say, I'm going to take this tape off. Okay. And they never give me a problem. And as far as selling the base to this machine, I'm just going to really have to do some research on it. I mean, it's going to be over 14 pounds by the time I put a box and bubble wrap in there. I just got to see if it's sold ever, if there are any listed. I have my gut feeling is I'm probably not going to sell this machine, but I will remove the feet from this machine if I decide not to sell the base because the feet will sell. Okay, now this next machine had $14.99 on it. And I have no problem spending $14.99 for this machine because this is what we call a Cuisinart grind and brew. Now, usually it says grind and brew on the machine, but it is a grind and brew. So you want to be looking for those. And the reason I can tell that it's a grind and brew is we've got what we call the bean hopper. Awesome. This will be the first thing that we'll sell so if you see a grind and brew, grab it. They're awesome. You also want to stick your hand down in this one uh, part and grab out this charcoal filter holder. These don't go for much at all. I have quite a few still in my store, but they do sell. Just sell them dirt cheap. They do sell. Make sure that you take the little charcoal filter out if there is one in there, unless it's clean, but usually they're dirty. This one doesn't have one in there. I've also sold the lids to this machine, and this lid is really easy to um, take off. All you have to do is just get a little mini screwdriver and just stick them in the sides and flip it off. And I don't know, I, I guess maybe people crack the plastic right here, the clear, and so they want a new lid. Um, the next tip is just make sure when you get carafes, work bowls, anything like that, just inspect them really, really well to make sure there are no cracks. Okay, let's take a look at this machine. I spent $3.99 on it, um, maybe even less. So this is a Black & Decker machine. Um, now, what's funny about this machine, it says $9.99, $9.99, but then on one tag it says $3.99. And on the top, it says $3.99. So I wasn't sure how much it was. So she probably charged me $3.99. Um, I was going to get up there and tell her there was a price difference. But then I thought, no, I'm just going to let her, you know, tell me what she thinks. So um, anyway, this is a really beautiful machine. I'm not really sure how many parts I can get off of it. But there's one. There's the mesh copy filter. All right, and then here's the basket. So one of my tips I wanted to give you was that, see this little thing, it's got a spring on it. See that right there? Especially if you're at the bins and you find coffee filters and you're like, oh wow, coffee filter, grab it. Well, sometimes these things are bent and you'll or they're broken 
somebody has just, you know, broken them, just make sure that this is not broken off or bent. You really can't sell it if it is. And it's not something that you can like bend back and shape very well. So this is perfect, but you'll just see this will be to the side. Um, they probably just crammed it into their machine and bent it. Another tip I have for you is I wash most of my parts in the dishwasher. And so they come out pretty clean, but a lot of times they leave water spots. So what I do is I just take some Windex on a paper towel and just wipe it down really well before I take my photos. So now I'm seeing this right here. I've never seen this before. This is a part that's obviously coming out. I don't know what it's called. Um, I don't know what it's for, but I'm going to research it by looking up the user manual on, um, on the internet and can't get it back in there now. And find out what its name is and then I can look it up for research. I also want to caution you when you look up manuals online, some of these websites have viruses. So you have to be very careful. Make sure that you have a really, really good virus software. I went to one this morning and I got all these, you know, warnings and everything. And then my virus protection said, you are covered. So I always hate it when that happens, but just be prepared for that. Um, the way I try to get around that is I try to Google, like, let's say Cuisinart 500 parts, and then I'll hit images and look for images because sometimes people take a photo of that page in the instruction manual. And then if I can't find it that way, then I'll go ahead and actually look up the user manual. But just be extremely careful, guys. Have a great virus program. Now I want to show you something I got about two months ago, and I've been avoiding um, listing it because it is kind of big. I kind of, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this thing. I paid $12.51 for it at Family Thrift, and the um, only reason I paid that much is because I bought other machines with it for like $3.99, $4.99, so I averaged out my sale for, you know, three or four items, and it was it came under $10. So this is by Nostalgia, and it's a hard candy cotton candy maker. And the reason I don't want to list it, and I knew it when I bought it, but I was getting so low on parts, I was getting desperate. And when you get desperate, don't listen to your head, you know, but... Anyway, so like, what am I going to ship this in? Look how big it is. You know, it's super wide. I'm going to have to find a box that's flatter, or then I'm going to have to Franken box it. I hate Franken boxing. Um, here's another piece that's the same way. You know, it's not very tall, but it's super wide. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. And then I've got the base. And then it's got things like... With the base, I can take the feet off if I'm not going to sell the base, but I am going to try to sell the base. Then it's got these things. I can't remember what they're called. They're written on the box. There's a little scoop. I'll just throw in the scoop with these things, um, but this is what you actually put the cotton candy on. I know there's a name for it. It, has, it says they're light-up glow st uh, cones, but I, I don't see any light-up glow cones here. But anyway, these are called cones, and... Oh, I guess these are the light up ones. I'm not really sure. They've never been open, so I'm not really sure how you light them up. Let's see what this button does. Yeah, the button doesn't do anything. So I don't know if you have to put batteries in them. Um, no clue. But anyway, just thought I'd show you that because I plan on listing that this week. So I have finally gotten to 500 items in my parts store again. And I think with all of these things here, I'm going to try to get up to 525, 530. And that will be it. That will be all the parts I have to sell. So I either need to go back to the bins or something like that. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. And if you have any questions about selling appliance parts online, specifically on eBay, please leave me a comment below and I'll try to get back to you or I'll try to record a video about that topic. Until next time, may God keep you in his pocket and paddle on everyone. We're all in this business boat together.